Hi, this is Bradlin, and today we're going to take a look at a uh, just-released application by Google for Google Android phones. This is Google Earth for Android. And as you see, when you launch, you sort of see a uh, picture of the Earth. You can spin it around. It's pretty fluid once the program is fully up and running. And you can use pinch to zoom, to zoom in, or tap to zoom. And then you can also use the look around button to sort of change the motion here. So instead of zooming, now you can rotate. Now, first thing I'm going to do is bring us to my location. And you'll see it'll actually spin until it finds the spot where you are based on your GPS or uh, wireless connection. And it's discovered that I'm in Philadelphia. Just like Google Earth for the desktop, you can see um, satellite imagery, you can see the trees and the buildings, all sorts of other things. And uh, you can also rotate it to get a uh, landscape view instead of portrait. Now again, you can see that when I sort of drag, it moves from side to side and up and down here, or I can turn on the look around button, and now it'll actually rotate the orientation. Now if you go to the settings, you'll see that you can uh, add different layers. There's places, businesses, uh, Wikipedia, roads, borders, etc. And so when you go in here and look up a little bit closer, I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but you'll see little icons. So for example, there's a fork and knife icon represents a restaurant, and it'll bring up information about that restaurant if you click on it. Over here's a little red icon for a hotel. Here we've got a gas station icon. Oops, and I've clicked out of the application. Uh, so here we are back in it again. Now again, you can use the pinch to zoom, to zoom out. So you want to go visit a friend who lives in a different area. And let's go to New York. We can choose Brooklyn, Queens, Brooklyn Bridge, apparently, um, and get uh, information from Wikipedia, because I guess when I tapped, I tapped on the Wikipedia entry. Or we can just zoom in. like Manhattan. And you see it's almost overpopulated with restaurants and hotels and other things. Um, not entirely sure what these little blue guys are, so let's see what a blue icon brings up. Madison Square. Uh, what's this one? The Flatiron Building. So I guess that's the uh, places or uh, other architectural information. You can also click the search button and search for things like, uh, say, coffee. It's probably a lot easier to type when this isn't sitting down on the table like this, but here we go. So let's take a search for coffee. And now it's finding different coffee shops. We've got uh, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Gregory's Coffee, Birch Coffee, Orin's Daily Roast, etc. So New York uh, has a couple of coffee shops, I guess. And you can click on any of those to get more information about it. And then we can zoom back out. And play basketball with the world again. So there you go. That's the first look at Google Earth for the Google Android uh, platform on a Google Nexus One phone. This is Brad Linder for Download Squad.